Well, cheers. How do you do, buckaroos? And how the heck are you? Uh, so you guys see the loading center. <laughs> Darn this internet blows. Anyway. <laughs> I had to read that. Grab my beer, man. So I've got this new one. I just found this from Burr Oak Brewing out of Columbia, Missouri. It is Stout Heart, described as an extra stout. I do want to read just a little bit from their website. Stout Heart, Brewer's Note. Stout Heart is a giant pound tree creature of Middle Earth and a protector of the big tree. Stout Heart, a uh, protector of all things good, wards off evil and rescues righteousness. Our stout is formidable and strong with a smooth and toasty flavor. A uh, 7.6% malts are Franco Belgis, uh, roasted barley, chocolate malt, oats, and caramel 40. The hops are German Hollertal Middle for a very interesting. They don't give you exact IBUs. They have this little uh, scale down here from 0 to 100. So guessing by where that scale is, I'm going to say it probably hovers about 40 to 45 IBUs. Again, described as, a, as an extra stat. Not an FES, but an extra stat. I'll call it an AES, an American extra stout anyways. Yeah, there you go. See, it's not quite a dry stout, not quite an imperial. Oh, excuse me, my eyes are itching something terrible today. Allergies, man. So nice. I had one of these last night for the first time. You really feel those roasted barley notes on the nose. That's That's very nice. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you know, it's become kind of trendy to put, uh, well, you know, to put put uh, uh, trendy hops in a beer like this. You know, uh, you want to use Citra Mosaic or Galaxy making the uh, tropical stout. I love that they just tried to make a classic beer and use the uh, the holler towel middle for a hops. Uh, it gives it that nice, earthy, clean finish. And doesn't distract, uh, doesn't distract uh, from from those big roasted barley notes and the oats, because you do feel some some nice dark chocolate going on. You might even get a hint of coffee in there. It's put together well. Oh, nice. Could have been, we've had some odd weather here. I mean, we've been going back and forth from stout weather to Pilsner weather. So I picked up a Pilsner. <laughs> I picked up their, their old 63 Pilsner and this one. But I picked, some, I picked up another Imperial Stout, Razor Ruckus from Piney River. And then I got the uh, the whiskey barrel aged uh, from Boulevard. So I thought I was buying the bourbon barrel aged from, from Piney River because they're in the exact damn same can. The only difference is there's a little lettering at the bottom says uh bourbon barrel aged and i thought i had that one because i had it in my cart and then i put it down to pick up another one because the cans were sticky but I, th I thought i was picking up the same thing but obviously i didn't realize till you know the day after i bought it <laughs> i was a little pissed off at myself that was a bitch i thought i was buying that one however i mean not all is lost so i can go back and get the other one and I've had their regular uh, Ra razor ruckus before but since it's been over a year it doesn't hurt to revisit so there you go. And I, when I get a chance, I get to the store and I'll get a four pack of the bourbon barrel version and then I can drink one side by side, which, you know, is, is the plan unless I end up drinking off both before I get a chance to go to the store. Sometimes that kind of happens, man. So anyway, uh, Burr Oak does some pretty good beer out there in Columbia Mo. I haven't managed to hit their brewery yet, though. I've had a few breweries out there, but that one I have missed somehow. I need to get back out to Columbia and go to that one. I really want to, man. <laughs> really, really, man. Oh. oh, this is gorgeous, though. I, I love the way you, you, you've got that, I'm going to call it a, a medium-bodied beer. But again, you feel those. Hold on, let me take a drink. Oh, loading. Fucking internet here sucks. That's my fault. I got direct TV. They told me how wonderful the internet was. And it was much better than the cable internet. It blows, man. It just freaking blows. I got a video uploading. This is what happens. I'm really irritated at this particular <laughs> But this beer will help me get over that. Yeah, so let me take a drink. 
yeah, again, I'm going to call it medium body. There's some nice malted dark chocolate notes going on. Uh, again, you might feel, feel a hint of coffee in there as well uh, near the back end. But then I love how it just kind of dries up clean in, in the finish. It's very nice. It's put together well. So there you go. If you are able to get this in your neck of the woods, I suggest, it, I mean, I, I certainly would recommend it. I, I am enjoying it thoroughly, as it were. <laughs> I am. Who are you? Who the hell cares? I've done beer with spur, beer evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor wisdom, man. Uh, cheese whiz. All right, good guy.